that is so fetch. Hey all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Kaya and today we are going to be doing a CD unboxing to King Diamond. I wanted to do more King Diamond stuff because uh, you know, we are, are diving into Merciful Fate and King Diamond's entire discography, and I do mean from start to finish. So, I started with Merciful Fate's self-titled EP. Um, you can check out my one song reaction, it's also here on the channel that I'll link. But uh, yeah, the full reaction and deep dive is on my Patreon, so if you're interested, just go look at my Patreon. There's an, a link in my description if you want to just check it out. Copyright's doozy, all right? Y'all know this. Partner with me, girl. Without further ado, let's get into this. So here's the cover. And the back. Super dope. King Diamond, Fatal Portrait. The candle, the Jonah, the portrait. Dressed in white, Sharon, or Sharon. Lurking in the dark, Halloween. Voices from the Past and Haunted. A couple of these songs have asterisks on them in the back. I wonder why. That's what it opens up to. Ooh, girl. You had to break that open. <laughs> this is dope. It's so shiny and, like, sturdy. The cover. Here's the back. And then here's all of the credits. Nice big booklet not even a booklet it's like a nice fold out little thing and it's just all the uh the lyrics here music by michael denner king diamond lyrics by king diamond looks like michael denner did oh looks like king diamond did the music and the lyrics for the candle portrait dressed in white and the jonah and Lurking in the Dark, but Michael Denner did three songs off this record. He did Sh Sharon, uh, Halloween, and Haunted. And all of these CDs should feature these little mini vinyl record CDs, which I think look so dope. Look at that. Look at that thing. It even has the rivets. And it's like so pitch black on the outside, on the back. Look at that, you can see my whole reflection. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> it's super, super dark, dark black on the bot on the back. And just looks super clean. I love this for presentation. It's really cool. And it just looks very collectible. Next up, them. I've heard a lot of y'all talk about them. And I'm really, really excited to get to this record in our uh, Merciful Fate King Diamond Journey um because I definitely know it's a concept album so opens up to ooh that's how you know it's like fresh and clean I mean that's just like a portrait that's literally just like a presentation quite the presentation black vinyl it looks like when you pull it out just look like a piece of paper and then kind of folds out into this so the note says to whom it may concern I'm scared to death nine years ago they finally let me out and I was just beginning to feel better 7 a.m. 7 a.m. It means I am, goodness. I am not myself any longer. I guess you could not even recognize my face if you saw me now. That phone call two hours ago has torn me apart. It was grandma. She invited me back to the old house. I do not want to go back, but I must. Maybe you will understand my fear if I tell you what happened during my childhood. Whoa. 18 years ago, I was living with my mother and my sister Missy in Grandma's old house. I had been told that Grandma was away on a long vacation and that she would soon return. She did. I have later found out that she was actually being released from the same that same asylum. She's insane, they said. 
when she kept on babble, babbling about them. I still cannot make up my mind about who really did separate Grandma's head from his shoulders. Grandpa's head from his shoulders. You see, they were always so nice to me. Anyway, time is short and I must leave for the old house. So here's what happened 18 years ago. And in case we never see each other again, at least you will know why. I bet we are going to have tea. Oh, ho! King Diamond, 3-12-1987. That's when it's dated. I love when they put the lyrics down at the back, so, because sometimes it's hard to understand, like, what they're saying. Let's put her on the shelf. Next up is The Dark Sides. Now, this, I think, is just a compilation record um, featuring different kind of, like, singles various different things because this has no presents for Christmas which is a song that we covered on this channel for Christmas again that's the cover in all of his corpse paint glory there's his face again opens up oh she's sticky opening up this is so cool looks like a meme looks like a meme face should still have the, uh, yep, the classic black mini vinyl CD. It's almost like an iridescent. It's so black it almost looks like it's purple, if that makes sense. Oh! Do we not have a booklet? It's like sealed. I don't think we have a booklet. I don't really want to like open it but it's like totally sealed why not just print something for it i guess that's just a compilation thing them obviously from them no presents for christmas was just a single shrine came from the family ghost b-side that produced shrine was recorded during the sessions that produced abigail but it's not related to the haunting of abigail the Lake, which is the fifth song on this album, um, ranks as probably one of the rarest of all King Diamond tracks. Until now, it was only available on the limited edition Halloween picture disc, which quickly came and disappeared in September 1986. Ooh, if you collect King Diamond stuff and you're like a major fan, have you gotten your hands on that? That would be really cool to research. Okay. Conspiracy. So that's the front in more of his corpse paint glory. And then here's Conspiracy. Nice black CD case. We do have a booklet. So here's, almost looks like one of these like scrolls, or like a little, like a scroll or a map. It's very like Dungeons and Dragons fantasy with the details here. Kind of looks like jeweled. It says conspiracy. Has all these like, what is it? Special thanks. The album Conspiracy is a continuation of the story on the album Them. That says, once back inside the old house, Amon King watches watched his grandmother vanish by the words, "I bet you're dying for a cup of tea." Not a trace did she leave behind. Nobody was to be found upstairs either. The cellar was empty. The entire house is empty. Only memories of long gone friends were buried in the thick dust that now cover the house. It's been 18 years since King was last in this house, waiting in his mother's bedroom to be taken away by Dr. Lando and the police. He spent nine years in an asylum trying to get his mind back to normal under the supervision of Dr. Lando. Then finally released, he spent another nine years in absolute solitude at a place unknown to us lie during this time he never saw his mother now two weeks have passed since king returned to the old house which is actually his according to his grandmother's will and we think it is time for him to contact us again i'm so interested to know more about this now that we're diving deeper into what them is about so conspiracy is the continuation then it's kind of like a part two sort of thing and now we're gonna put her right there live concert album from 1987 of abigail so that's the cover 
and here's the back. So let's go ahead and open this guy. Then it opens up to the photo that's on the uh, cover. Love this logo. Black vinyl record. Wow, it's got all of the tour dates on it. Look at that. That's kind of like the best way that I can show it, sort of. So you have all the US tour dates here, all the European tour dates here. And like, I'm guessing the poster, this could have been a poster that you got when you saw the concert. Special guest with candle mass. And then on the back is a handwritten note. And it says, if I can read it, this live album was recorded at various King Diamond shows during the 1987 Abigail tour and is a and is live in the true sense of the word. The original mix from 1987 has been preserved. No overdubs have been added, no mistakes or technical problems have been corrected, and no excuses are made. This is exactly what we sounded like in concert during 1987. Whoa, that's cool. None of these recordings have ever been available before, not even in bootleg form. The only original tapes have been locked away in my cellar ever since we finished the Abigail tour and were only recently discovered by pure coincidence. On the 7th day of July this year, I was going through some old stuff in the spooky, dark, dump, damp cellar of mine as my eyes caught sight of a box marked with the words Toy Soldiers. It was covered in spiderwebs and seemed to be guarded by three hairy gray spiders, their bodies the size of an old silver dollar. I wiped the three hairy follows, fellows off the box and opened it. Right there on top of these old toy soldiers were four reels of unmarked tapes just staring at me. I had no idea what was on those tapes, so I, bought, I brought them with me out of curiosity. I only had to listen to them once to be sure our fans would appreciate this material as much as I just had. So here it is, King Diamond Live from 1987. Enjoy, and remember, 18 is actually 9. Whoa, what does that mean? Boing! The Puppet Master. Oh, now this is a big daddy. This is a big, big daddy jewel case. Like, this is 10th anniversary reissue of the Puppet Master with a DVD. I'm excited to see what a jewel case of King Diamond looks like and what the CD is going to look like. I'm wondering if it's gonna be similar to the like vinyl CD. Oh yeah, I forgot that this CD got absolutely destroyed. Not the CD itself, but the case. Mama, you know it's bad when you gotta like vacuum up pieces because you don't want your dog to step on them. That is like a bona fide hole in the jewel case. And it's all cracked right there. Way to go, Amazon. Way to go. It's not terrible. Okay. So here's what it opens up to. Now it's cracked and destroyed here and here. Goodness. Oof, Bubba. I'm surprised that these are like still intact. I'm just shocked. I've never seen a jewel case this destroyed before. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping more pieces of this jewel case. I'm gonna have to vacuum in here, girl. I love how reflective this is. I'm actually gonna take it out of here because I'm afraid I'm gonna scratch it. So we're just gonna we're just gonna put you right there. Okay, so she's still gonna give a home, but I might put her in some other case for CDs just so that she doesn't get scratched, girl. The CDs are perfectly fine. It's not your fault. It's Amazon's for running over the package with their car. More pieces of this thing are coming out. And then here's the back with some thanks. And then we'll just kind of like quickly run through all of these. 
I love the scalpel. This is forward and then the characters and then we get into the lyrics with Midnight and Puppet Master. Oh, that's like the most evil I've seen him. Look, this seems like a really dark album. So I have a cool photo with him kind of with these vampire teeth. More lyrics. Whoa, Andy LaRock, guitars and keyboards. So then I think we're getting into like creepy kind of photos of like different band members. And then here's, oh, maybe not. More lyrics. And just an image of an eye being Ugh, cut. Okay, interesting. So they had King, band member, different thing, and now we have another band member. This is Mike Weed. I feel like I got some of this jewel case in my hand. And then I think this is Nal Patino. Val looks like an N. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, just let me know. That's so cool. So then we finish the lyrics on this side and we have Matt Thompson on drums. Super creepy. He looks like a serial killer. That's gonna do it for this CD unboxing on King Diamond. I really hope y'all enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about these CDs. Um, do you have any of these King Diamond CDs? And specifically, do you have any of those like the limited edition Halloween ones? Because I know that was like one that quickly came out of print in September. What was it, like 86 or something like that? That would be really cool. So what's your favorite King Diamond record? Um, if you have any memories of seeing him live, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, let me know any other CD unboxings you wanna do. Um, I love to do these types of videos just to showcase, you know, the stuff that y'all send me, but also just you know, diving into these things because I love to collect those things and y'all have helped me collect these things. So thank you so much for watching and spending time with me today. I really do appreciate it. Check out my Patreon if you want to. I also have my Discord, The Mosh Pit. There's an invite link down below in the description. And if you want to send something to be featured in a metal unboxing video um, or in a CD unboxing, go ahead and send me something to the P.O. Box. That's in my description as well. So I will see you very soon in the next video. Take care, you guys. Bye.